so hello everyone hope you are doing great welcome to the second day of our webinar marathon week there are two exciting events around the corner the microsoft power platform conference in las vegas and the community summit in charlotte and with webinar marathon we are trying to provide a sneak peek to the latest and the greatest offerings of inocity which we intend to showcase in both the events thank you for joining the session today i gorav chatterji a project manager at inojit bring you one of our latest offerings from our product portfolio the dwd dwd is a data hygiene app to detect prevent and merge duplicates in your crm this will not only ensure but will also make it easy for you to maintain data sanity in your CRM instances. Over this session, we will observe the various challenges an organization face because of duplicate data and how D2D is necessary in overcoming those challenges. I will also take you through few of its key features, followed by a live demonstration, FAQs, and finally, the Q&A. Before we move ahead, I would like to run a short poll to understand what actually caught your interest to register for this session. So I have started the poll. Uh, I would request everyone to kindly cast your votes as for your interest. There are a couple of options over here. Like first one would be you want to clean your existing CRM database or you might be wanting to prevent uh, capturing of duplicate data in your system or you might be just curious about uh, our solution d2d great i'm getting some response few people are curious to know about d2d perfect well, some are interested in cleaning their existing crm database well that's that's quite a primary requirement right so thank you for casting your vote a quick heads up all the lines have been muted so at any point you have any query Kindly put it in the chat window and I will try to address all of them during our Q&A session. Before we dive into d d let me give you a brief about INRJ. We are one of the leading service providers and an ISB. We are an exclusive Dynamics 365 CRM boutique shop that has been in the business for more than a decade now. We have a portfolio of 15 plus products pretty much exclusive to the Dynamics 365 community. And speaking of community, we are quite active here. And it's not just me. I'm pretty sure you know us either from our blogs or by our presence in the CRM or the Power Platform community. Well, we truly believe in building productivity apps that reduce multiple steps, which otherwise you would require to take while going about your day-to-day -day business in CRM. And as you can see on the slide, we have various applications on the offering. I would like to take a moment and very briefly try to describe a couple of them. I will start with our flagship product, Mapletix. Mapletix is our market leading CFMD certified product. With Mapletix, we are bringing in the goodness of Microsoft Bing Maps into Dynamics CRM. It provides Capabilities like visualizing CRM data on map, managing trade trees, route optimization, smart apartment planner, and much more. The next one I would like to describe is an, another market leader, the SharePoint Security Sync. This is a kind of application which is not a luxury, but a necessity. It is a comprehensive solution for integrating Dynamics 365 with SharePoint while synchronizing the security privileges from Dynamics 365 to SharePoint, which ensures secure and reliable access to all your confidential documents. I will also like to highlight the fact that we have a professional service division comprising of some of the great minds in the business. They will not only assist you with your development needs, but will also suggest you the best solutions to fulfill your requirements and make your day-to-day -day CRM usage a lot easier. All in all, we are a one-stop shop. So feel free to reach out to us with your requirements at crm at dynamic.com. Now, duplicate and redundant data is actually a very big and yet a very common problem in the industry. 
if we talk of stats 20 to 30 percent is the average duplicate rate in any database now this is quite high and this leads to companies incur an average of 12.9 million dollars per year if we can rectify or prevent the duplicate data then a 66 percent surge can be seen in the annual revenue such stats make the data hygiene solution and another necessity to maintain your data integrity and consistency we are also aware that data does consume storage thus removing the unwanted or redundant data will also help in saving some of your data worst storage space and now that you have proper data in place it would be easier for your managers and stakeholders to generate accurate analysis reports to review the business done by your organization which further helps them to lay out a plan for the future so let's dive into it in your organization there could be different fronts on which different teams are parallelly working on and to ensure smooth running of these teams there is usually different channels of communication in place which automatically captures any incoming, incoming communication as leads in the system. So for example, when John Richard mailed the support with his query or concern regarding either of your product, he got captured as a lead in the system. Later at some point, your organization ran an ad campaign using let's say MailChimp. But speaking of MailChimp, a quick side note, kindly do also check out our another offering the marketing for dynamics which is a productivity app providing integration between dynamics 365 crm and mailchimp now coming back your organization ran an ad campaign to which john richard replied and again got captured as a lead in your system further when john richard showed interest in another one of your offering listed on your website he again got captured as a lead in your system. Now imagine this happening for years in your organization and how much of redundant junk or duplicate data this must have amounted to in your system. There's high chance that you most recently have become aware of the presence of such unwanted data in your system. In fact, you might have not even required to shed the extra buck on the additional data was storing all these years had this unwanted duplicate records never got captured in your system in the first place. Well, not to worry, DWP has got it covered. With DWP present in your CRM, you will get a form notification on your already existing duplicate records. Along with this form notification, you get the show duplicates button, which you can use to see the additional information of your duplicate records. So as you could see over here, you see the current record as well as the associated duplicates to it. So there are three duplicates, rather three duplicate leads in the system. And also like these three leads are there with the same email address, as you can see, this is based on the rule that we have configured, right? And on the similar node, there is another contact as well in the system with the same email address. Perfect. But I know what you guys might be thinking. All this is okay, but as you said, over the years, we might be having large number of such duplicates in our system. Are you expecting us to go each record one by one to find if it has any duplicates or not? Well, my answer is absolutely no. With D2D, along with the solution to import in your CRM, we are also shipping a Windows tool, which will run outside of your CRM. Using this tool, you can not only find your duplicates in bulk, but even merge those duplicates. Let's see how. So once you open the tool, you will have to log into your CRM instance. So enter proper username and password. Select the option to list out the organizations. If you are aware of the region your uh, of the data center uh, your CRM is in, then you can choose that. Otherwise, not to worry. You usually get this don't know option. So you can do that. Of the connection string will automatically figure it out. Now I am aware that it's North America, so I have chosen it. I will do this and click on the login option. Let us give it a few seconds to log in. 
Now, once you are logged in, you will have to select the table you want to find the duplicate record for. Now, over here, you see only three tables or three entities listed. Well, this is because over the configurations in our CRM, we have configured the duplicate detection only for these three tables. So I will quickly dive into the CRM and show you guys what I mean. So yeah, so here on the entity configuration, you see that we have configured the duplicate detection for account, contact, and lead. And as I said, this is the reason why you see only these three tables over here. However, our tool or our solution supports all the out of the box as well as the custom entities. So anything you wish uh, to run the duplicate detection on, you can configure over here and it will list it over here. So now I will select the lead as per my use case. After selecting the table, we will be required to select the view. Okay, so I'm selecting open lead. Now the purpose of this view is by selecting a view, I define that I want my tool to search duplicates for only those records which classify the condition of this view. So when I select a view, you see the total records listed over here is 83. So it's not necessarily that there are 83 records in the system. There could be hundreds or thousands of records in the system, but only 83 records classify the condition or satisfy the condition of the view. So the duplicate detection of the duplicates will be searched for these 83 records through, throughout the system. So once that is done, we need to click on the find duplicates. Again, let us give it a couple of seconds. It will search for all the duplicates based on all the rules that you have defined. Now it's not necessarily that you have to define the rules only for the same entity. There is cross entity support as well. Yeah, so as I was saying, so the same, so we, the, our source entity is the lead and we have defined the rules as such that it searches for the duplicates in the lead as well as in the contact, right? Also after the duplicates are found, so as I said, there are total 83 records. There are total 53 duplicates. So these 83 records cumulatively have 53 duplicates in the system and there are 25 duplicate groups. So these uh, single group comprises of the like the master and its subordinates. So everything like the matching email address. So email address is the criteria. So that is defined as a single group. The set of records matching the same criteria. So another thing to note here is that like while you are selecting the views, you can like you can use the system views or you can even create your own personal views which you can select over here and based on that the records uh, will be filtered and the duplicates will be searched for on the those records. Now, so here uh, you see the based based on the based on the based on the criteria that we have defined the duplicates have been listed the master have been the master record is uh, is defined and these are the subordinates which are also defined now let's say you want to make this the one of the subordinate as the master and uh, change the master as the subordinate so you can see the subordinate is created at 11.49, whereas the master is at 12.27, right? So I will click on this, make master, and you see the subordinate became the master, whereas the master is now the subordinate. Perfect. So you can review all the details uh, of the duplicates that are listed from this interface. However, if you have a long list of duplicate records uh, over here, you can export the duplicates to further review in the Excel sheet. So, do please, and I will save. So data was exported successfully. Let me just quickly navigate to that Excel. So this is the one we saved.
Yeah. So I've expanded all the columns. So here, everything as you saw in the interface, similarly, everything is sorted as per their master and their subordinates over here. And you can further review uh, the, the duplicates identified through our tool uh, in this Excel. Okay. Now, going back uh, to the tool, we have also provided a search option over here. So if you are aware of the like the name of the lead in our case, or even uh, have the slightest idea of uh, the name or the, the 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 words, then you can you can definitely search it over here. So let me try with C A and hit search. As you can see, the records got filtered out based on based on the uh, based on the letters I have typed over here, and all the records which con contains the C H uh, gets listed over here. Okay, perfect. Now that all is uh, all is sorted and we have verified everything, we need to mass merge this, right? So this is this is the cleaning process. All the all the subordinates will get merged with their respective master. Okay, one thing which you might have noticed when the duplicates were listed on this interface is that, as I said, that the master and the subordinates are all sorted and identified by the duplicates were listed over here. So for that, that that happens because of what we have defined on the entity configuration the master record rule okay so in the entity configuration there is merge setting and there are different rules available based on which the master and the subordinate is identified right so if you click on this drop down the first one is criteria based so criteria based as the name suggests when you click on criteria based you uh, you get an area to put in your custom fetch xml and based on the condition of your fetch XML, the master will be decided. Next one is latest modified. So this is the one that we have chosen. So latest modified is nothing but the, let's say if you have two or three leads in the system, the, the lead that was last modified becomes the master and the rest are the subordinate. Oldest modified, on the same lines, if we have three leads in the system, the record, the lead that was modified the earliest, that becomes the master and the rest are the subordinate. Similarly, latest created is the record which was latest created. If there are three leads in the system, the, the lead which was most recently created becomes the master. Oldest created, the lead which was created at the earliest becomes the master. Now, most field value, this is something impressive. Most field value. So in CRM, we have tables, and for every table, we have uh, attributes of columns or fields. So we say. So now let's say lead has 100 fields in CRM, and there are two duplicate leads, lead one and lead two. Now, lead one has values in 80 of those fields out of 100, whereas the lead two has values in only 50 of those fields out of 100. So when we say the master record rule is most field values, it will classify the lead which has 80, uh, uh, which has values in 80 of the fields as the master because that has values in more most of the fields. So that becomes the master and the second lead which has only values in 50 of the uh, fields. So that becomes the subordinate. Now, next, another interesting one is the most activities. Coming back to the same example, let's say there are two duplicate lead in the system. Lead one and lead two, the one which has the most number or the most count of activities associated to it, that becomes the master. And the one which has less number of uh, activities associated to it, that becomes the subordinate. So here, what we have chosen was last modified. Yeah, so going back to the tool, all the duplicates are merged. Here you get the option to download. I click on download and go to download. Let me rename it. Yeah, 
put it successfully. Let me navigate to the window and actually open it and show you. Yeah. So yeah, so I was actually trying to expand this. So people who are interested, there is a shortcut Excel shortcut. It's Alt H O I. So like few days ago, uh, uh, like one of our client asked us. So I thought it's better share here as well. Okay. So <clears throat> yeah. So here now, uh, once once the merging is done uh, here in the Excel, you see uh, you get the list of all the uh, all the masters that were that were merged, right? Uh, so you can you can review and get an idea and these are basically now the unique records that are present in the system all the rest uh, duplicates are there but they are inactive they are in inactive state right so right so now one more like before i'm like before i move out of the tool one more like interesting factor you might have noticed over here is that like there is lead and contact. So as I have explained earlier as well. So while you are configuring, while you are configuring uh, different matching criteria or different configurations in your system, you can configure it as such to match your source entity with other uh, other different entities. So here lead is our source entity. We have matched it with lead, but we have also matched it with contact. And there is no such limitation as such. You you can you can you can configure n number of entities. You can configure an out of the box entity uh, uh, with an uh, with a custom entity and so on and so forth, right? So this this again searches for the duplicates present based on the criteria I've defined the duplicates present in bulk in your entire system, and gives you the idea of the duplicates present in the system. Okay, so now your existing duplicates are sorted great that's good news but what about future proofing your system well we all know the importance of future proofing in every aspect of our lives so why not future proof your crm from unwanted unintended redundant data you wouldn't want to run the windows tool that we saw just now every monthly or quarterly interval to clean the system right well, unless, of course, you like the tool too much to resist, by all means, go ahead. But on a serious note, you would need a functionality to restrict the formation of duplicate unwanted data in the system from this point on, even more so as you have now cleaned the history duplicates. And this is, again, something which we have already thought of while designing DWD. So DWD supports real-time duplicate detection and prevention. Okay, so if I go ahead and create another lead with the same email address. I request you guys to kindly go and check out our Another offering, the WhatsApp for Dynamics. It leverages the WhatsApp integration with CRM to fast track your uh, sales communication. Yeah, so I just tab out and voila. So you see this pop up. So while you're filling out details on your form itself, you are being notified by our solution of potential duplicate data being entered as soon as the value of the field on which the duplicate criteria has been defined is being entered. So here the criteria we have defined is on email, right? So when I am trying to create a new lead with the same email, it gives us this pop up with all the details of the duplicate present in the system. Now you can very much ignore this dialogue and proceed but no, you will be notified again while you try to save the record. So if I go ahead and click on the save button, I will again be welcome with the same interface and will be shown the same details that there is a duplicate present in the system. But one amazing thing to note over here in this interface is that there is 
this ignore and save button. So this ignore and save button is actually configurable, which means you can actually make it available only for some set of CRM users based on their security rules. Right. So let me let me actually go ahead and show you guys. So here we have configured the duplicate detection for lead, right? So here is the client set duplicate DWD settings, and here is the deal. So allow to ignore duplicates is yes, and here we have selected the security role which has the privilege to ignore and save. So basically ignore the duplicate detection and save the record, even though a duplicate is present in the system. Now here I have only selected system administrator and I myself was the system admin, so that's why I get the option to ignore and save. But you can select more than one rules and all the users present in like all the roles selected, they will have the privilege to ignore and save. The rest other users uh, present in different roles will not get the option to ignore and save. So even now, if I go and say this is no and save this, I will let me try to show you. So yeah, I will close this and click on save again. So as you could see, the dialog gets displayed again, but this time without the ignore and save uh, button. So now this is kind of like restricting you to create a duplicate record in the system from the client side, right? Now moving ahead, there might occur such situations where you want to check if there are any duplicates in the system for a particular record before you start working on it. You can very much do that using the on-demand duplicate detection functionality. All you need to do is either navigate to the record or Select the record from the home grid and you shall see the show duplicate button on click of which will come up the same dialog box. So I am I have navigated to the home grid of lead. Now let me select summer night and yeah, click on show duplicates. So this shows that there are no duplicate leads in the system, but there are four duplicate contacts. Basically, there are four contacts in the system with the same email, with the, with the same, with the same email address. Also, in a day-to-day -day business, uh, using CRM record not always manually gets captured. Rather, like there can be scenarios or there can be different channels, like any automation process or some third-party integration or CRM data import through which data gets captured in your CRM. Now to prevent duplicates getting created through them all, you need to do is just configure the server-side duplicate detection. This will restrict duplicate records from getting created from the background. So if I navigate over here, so we saw this is the client-side uh, DWD settings. Below that, there is server side DWP settings. If we click over here, there is option. You can either restrict duplicate records from getting created, that is new record, or you can restrict the duplicate records from getting captured because of any updation happening of existing records, right? And once this is done, any record created from the background, uh, if it's a duplicate record, if it classifies to the rule that we have defined uh, for duplicates, then that will get restricted and will not get captured in the system. Just a quick glimpse of the rules, right? So as I was saying, so we have configured two rules. So one is like we have matched the email address from lead to lead and the other is lead to contact. So similarly, you can go about uh, creating as many as you want. And if I just have to show the lead to contact, yeah. So yeah, so the primary entity is lead, the matching entity is contact. 
you have the option to exclude inactive records or include them right and there are the duplicate matching conditions so again in duplicate matching conditions there are different options which you can use to define like just just to show you so matching method is like you can use the exact to match the exact value of the fields or you can use the first in characters to match certain uh, set of characters uh, from the values entered in the field same goes for the last in characters uh, and the one contains so it's it's like a like operator you know, right so if you if the target it will search with if it contains any of the values uh, entered in the field okay so so yeah so so that's that's how uh, you can configure multiple uh, multiple rules multiple criteria and everything right so over the demonstration we saw how d2d helps you to find duplicates in your existing history records uh, that too in bulk and then you can perform a mass merge to clean up your history records in bulk and once you have cleaned your history records you can even prevent future duplicates thus making d2d future proof you can create your own rules as per your business scenario to find and restrict duplicates and finally how a simple and user friendly interface makes the process even simpler and smoother i will quickly run uh, another poll to understand which is the feature that you guys like the most in dwp i request you all to kindly cast your votes there are different options and there there were like different features you might have liked like the functionality to identify uh, duplicate history records in bulk or to clean them by merging them the, or you might have preferred the real time identification and prevention of duplicate records or the configurable matching criteria for duplicates anything so anything you felt uh, like favorable or preferable for your organization kindly kindly feel free to cast your vote okay so i see few people are interested uh or like the configurable matching criteria perfect some are showing interested with i didn't like merging of the duplicate history records in uh, bulk so that's that's pretty standard right uh, like as i said there would be scenarios like after after years of working or using crm there there that there is bulk amount or large amount of duplicates in your system you would want a solution to clean them up first to identify and clean them up so yeah yeah that makes sense so yeah so thank you for casting your vote guys uh, again so d2d supports both the deployment models of dynamic crm that is online and on premise from uh, starting from the version 9.1 and above i would like to thank all the participants for showing interest in our solution the d2d and request you to kindly reach out to us at crm method energy and try out our solution and take leverage of the 15 days free trial before i move to the q and a session i would like to address few of the frequently asked questions can we clean up history historical duplicate records of course so as i said along with our solution we uh, uh, we ship a tool as well so as this tool runs outside of the crm you can use this tool to identify bulk duplicates and even merge those duplicate records which eventually cleans up your system okay uh, does it work for all dynamic 365 entities of course it works for all the dynamic 365 entities out of the box as well as custom uh, does it work with microsoft dataverse yes it is dataverse compliant and can we merge duplicate records in bulk yes so as i said there like we are shipping a tool which will run outside of your crm and using that tool you can identify the duplicates in bulk and even merge them in bulk how to get started well to get started we would request you to kindly drop a mail at crm@dynamic.com uh, we and our team will be more than happy to 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 give you a one on one demo of our solution you can share your business use case and we will ensure to cater 
the demo or tailor the demo as per your use case and once the demo is done you can as i said you can uh, get a 15 days trial and get a hands-on of our solution in your sandbox instance this gives you a lot better idea uh, while while you're trying out our solution if you have any queries you again can reach out to us we will be more than happy to assist we will be even be more than happy to uh, help you configure the solution in your crm instances right so yeah so just to get started just reach out to us at crm at that energy so now the floor is open to all the uh, questions and answers uh, i will be more than happy to answer all your queries okay so i am getting a question so what will happen to the merge records will it get deleted from the crm instance or will it be deactivated so to answer that we are not uh, deleting any records from the crm it will it will stay deactivated so once the merge is done uh, only the master records that we saw uh, will remain active in the system all the subordinates will get merged and uh, become inactive in your system uh, to add to it like if you wish to clean out further clean out your system and delete those records in the system uh, so our tool is not deleting those but you can leverage out of the uh, out of the box um, uh, bulk deletion right a job and create a job which will uh, and set the criteria search to delete the inactive records of a specific table so the inactive records get deleted but yeah uh, in case you wish to do so but our tool is not deleting anything okay so i think that's 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 pretty much from everyone uh, in case as i said again in case anyone has any questions feel free to drop in a mail at crm at the rate energy.com and we will be more than happy to answer all your queries uh, as I started with uh, the session that there are two events around the corner, that is the Microsoft Power Platform Conference and the Community Summit. So we hope to see you all and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation at our booth number 102 uh, at the Microsoft Power Platform Conference in Las Vegas from October 3 to the 5th. And we are at booth number 1429. Uh, from October 15th to the 20th in the Community Summit at Charlotte. Uh, we are also more than happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting at the events. Uh, in case you wish to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, kindly drop us an email at crm at that .com and we shall take it forward from there. So thank you all for joining this session. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day ahead. Cheers. Bye.